Okay, so we have a Rolex here that looks like it's been hammered, eaten by a dog. We don't know, but it's very, very pitted right here. And I was showing how like it's very pitted like right here. Look at all this. It's all bumpy, lumpy in its pits. So I'm going to clean up all this rough edges right here and this without changing the diameter of his original Rolex or changing the sharp corners. You ask, how do I do this? I do this very easily. I'm going to use the unitized wheel in fine. And do you see how flat my disc is? That'll ensure that I'm super flat and I'm not rolling over the edges. So let me go ahead and put my little fingertips on because I forgot those. You ready? Watch, you're going to see magic happen. You can watch it on the TV screen here too. Okay. So I'm just going to hold it here and watch it blend the metal. So what it does is it burnishes. So we're just going to wait for it to burn it. You see how they're like disappearing? So what it's doing is it's moving the metal without changing the shape of the original Rolex. Watching that? So we're almost there. Almost there. So I'm gonna like kind of pay more attention to the top part. Okay, right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it a little bit more here. But do you see that already? Okay. Uh-huh, but now I'm going to do a little oh, bit more yeah, here. That, I'm going to, uh -huh. no, no, I'm going to do it. Yeah, of course. I just got to hold it there. I do nothing. Leave it? You're not going to leave it. You see? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is just burnishing it. Yeah. Yes. So I think we're pretty good. It just there's still some nicks right here. Look, you can even feel my nail touching it. You guys feel the nicks right here? That mm -hmm. nick right there. Yeah. Now I can smooth that over. Just hold it there without changing the shape. There you go. That's it. So we're already at this level. Look at that. Okay, however, there's still a little pit right there. Just give me one second, let me get that pit out. Okay, there, that should do it. Wow. Okay, and then let me finish with the rest of it because it's still pitted here. These were not as bad, but they're still bad. Do you guys see the pits on this side? That's a pit right there. So just hold it there. Wow, I've seen pits in my pat in my life, but this is like by far the worst pits I've ever seen. Wow. By far the worst case. Okay, I think we're good. I think I got them all. There's still one right here, darn it. There's still one. I don't know, is that a pit? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, so look, this is your watch. Yep. You take a look at it. Look at the original Rolex finish. Okay. Do you see how the original Rolex finish 
I didn't even touch. Okay. It's like a like a virgin. It's mm. untouched, super identical to the original Rolex finish. Do you guys okay. see that? So look at the corner. Look at how everything is still the same. The, the, the geometry, the sharp corners are there. So now I'm going to polish it. I'm putting the felt polishing wheel on and we're going to polish it with my compound. And we just hold it there. So we're already getting a polish. You see that? Now I'm gonna clean this. Then, aw, you're so sweet. We'll finish it perfectly, don't worry. Oh, wow. So right now we're just polishing it flat. Do you see that already? I'm gonna polish it here flat. Get those lines out. I'm gonna combat those lines by going straight up against it. Beautiful, beautiful. You see that? You see that? Okay, now let me finish the other side and you're done. <laughs> for the other side. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. Let me just show the camera. Okay. So this was the side that was horribly beaten. And then just look at the, the symmetry of it. The corners are still strong and sharp. Same with the back side of the Rolex. You guys see that? So this is really important. And I didn't need to, you know, also too, I did that to took out those deep scratches and I didn't need to remove your movements. I don't have to, it's not dirty. I don't have to put this in the ultrasonic. You're going to, you know, there's, there, oh, where's compound? Oh, shoot. Let me get rid of that. I don't know how that, that's about it. And, you know, we can even touch up a little higher polish real quick with the buff. Yourself a little zhuzh, just a little extra. But this is what we use the polish for the buff, it's just for that extra pop of luster. We don't use it to grind, use it as set. Oh, wow! Damn, the cost is five. 
$149 and it comes with the full set. Just let me show this real quick. You guys see that? <laughs> Look at the polish. And that's a Rolex here. I'm gonna give it back to the customer. And we can do this too. Oh, it sucks on the other side. What did they do with this? But nonetheless, you guys, that was done on the jewel tool. I used the fine and the polishing wheel and then finished with the buff. So this is live from Germany and that's a real Rolex that I'm gonna hand back to the customer. And this is for you, my darling. Thank you. You're so welcome. Don't forget the after pictures. Yes. Oh, wait, let me take an after picture. Okay, I'm going to take one more picture. Video in it. Okay, 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 see. Uh, All right, bye. Leo, say hello, bye. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is watch. Okay, bye, you guys.